State Street, global advisors calling on over 3,500 companies to increase the number of women on their corporate boards. The firm is also unveiling a statue of a young girl across from the iconic Wall Street bull, representing the rise of female leadership, this all on International Women's Day. And for more, we're joined by the president and CEO of State Street Global Advisors, Ronald O'Hanley. Welcome, Ronald. Nice to see you. Thanks very much. Thanks for having me. So the statue is amazing. Uh, love the defiance that it shows. Tell us a little bit about how this came together and how you got to put that on Wall Street. Well, it, it came together in a number of ways. Uh, as part of our ongoing corporate governance, we've been focused more and more on the issue of gender diversity or lack thereof on boards uh, as part of our overall stewardship. And then this was also the one-year anniversary of the launch of our uh, gender diversity ETF. So the thinking was, let's bring this all together when there's a lot of attention on it on this very important day. I know you're calling on companies to take steps here to increase gender diversity on the boards, Ron, but are you willing to actually do something about it? In other words, get into proxy fights or, or vote, use your voting power as shareholders to make it happen? Well, as, as part of our overall stewardship and governance activities, we definitely use our vote. Um, in fact, as, uh, if you're an index manager, it's the only tool you have uh, to influence behavior. So as part of our active engagement with companies and boards, we'd certainly not like it, we'd prefer for it not to be adversarial, but if it needs to be and if it needs to be a vote, we will take the vote. And again, for us, it's not about quotas. It's really about this, uh, this fact, and it is a fact, the research is there, that gender diversity improves outcomes. So for us, uh, the question gets raised when we see a board that has no or very few women on it. Which, which measurement do you use to signal that companies with more diverse boards are in better economic shape? Is it a return on equity? What are you looking at? Yeah, that's a very good question, right, because what we are focused on is more long-term returns. So we do look at return on equity. We look at all sorts of different return numbers, but we look at it over the long term um, because the short-term uh, short numbers oftentimes there's too much noise. And what have you found in terms of how much work there still is to do at U.S. companies? Which sectors are sort of best practices here, offer best practices, and, and which ones have more work to do? Well, I, I would say uh, th the good news is there's been a lot of progress here, and particularly in large, across large companies, it's not for lack of trying. Uh, and it, at the very largest companies, there's actually, for the most part, an improving mix. Uh, but there's still a very large number of the Russell 3000, almost a quarter, uh, that have no women on boards. About 60% have 15% or less. And again, there's no perfect answer for numbers, but that, that is an indicator that probably we need to dig a little bit deeper and figure out why that is. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.